you gave a great talk today. Thank you. On winning the, what was it, the Animal Practice of the Year Award? So we won, the Animal Referral Hospital won the Practice of Excellence Award for the ABA Practice Management Group in 2013. So last year's award and for small animals. So they do an award for large and mixed practice right. and we have the Small Animal Practice Award. So you must have, uh, must have done something special to uh, <laughs> be awarded well, that. Well, I think the thing that was particularly special about winning the award for the Animal Referral Hospital is the award is not for how big you are, how much fancy equipment you have, um, you know, how many specialists you have. It's not an award for that. It's an award for uh, client communication, for client satisfaction and for patient care. And the fact that we won it when we have 120 staff and we have always new clients, we don't um, have a lot of repeat customers because that's not the, the kind of business we're in. It's not like a small practice in a country town where they have the same clients all the time. So to provide a level of customer service and practice um, of excellence in, the, in what they were looking for mm-hmm. was actually a big thing for a, a big practice to win, I think. Well, I've, I've seen personally and firsthand, having um, <clears throat> been at uh, ARH for... Uh, a few weeks now, uh, doing some filming, I've seen how you actually work with people, uh, with clients, I guess, but also yep. with your staff. You you clean up after yourself. I mean, Sometimes. I, it's I don't think they would say that. It's <laughs> you seem to have a good rapport with them. Absolutely. I mean, you've got to know your staff. I mean, they have one of the talks at this practice management conference that we're at now. One of the talks is about um, human relations and how we can um, connect with our staff on you know, business and, and so on levels. But one of it is personal level. So we need to connect uh, on a personal level with our staff. And you know, that's the type of person I am. I cannot help but do that. But I think it's really important to show that I'm prepared to do whatever job they have to do. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. you know, if an animal makes a mess and I'm the closest to it, I should clean it up. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to say, hey, you over there, go and yeah. clean that up. Um, you know, if an animal messes in the cage and mm-hmm. I can do it, I'll clean it up at that point. And, and I've enjoyed uh, being a stranger there, but uh, getting involved, I've been asked to hold dogs. Sometimes <laughs> Sorry about goes, that. <laughs> some, while someone goes off to clean. Right. Uh, <laughs> we didn't ask you to do it then? No. Oh, okay. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> so what is it that... How, how, how do you work the team together? Because it is teamwork, obviously. Mm-hmm. What, what's the big secret that, that you've got, do you think? Uh, I don't know that it's any secret, but um, I think just having good rapport with everybody. Everyone has a job to do. They all, have their, uh, they all know what their job is, and I guess they, we all have the common goal mm. of providing the best level of pet care to mm. our, our um, pets that come in, to our clients' animals. Mm. So, you know, if we're all working to the same goal and we all have job roles, you know, we just have to pull that together. I don't know what it is that does it, but yeah. We, yeah. we do it, I think. You obviously see the, uh, uh, the tail end, no pun intended, of uh, <laughs> a lot of the, um, the worst cases. Uh, and sometimes those cases are unavoidable, unavoidable, but what would you say to pet owners with regards to their pets if they think there's something wrong with them? Well, absolutely get somebody to look at it. Mm-hmm. So either at their vet or if it's after hours, an emergency service, or you know, if, if they're referred on, get a specialist to have a look at it. Because I think um, getting, in t- getting to do the treatment early in whatever disease process it is, um, is going to be a much better outcome, more likely to have a better outcome if we do it sooner rather than later. And I think... Uh, Owners are pretty cluey about their own pets, so often an owner will pick up that their animal's not quite right before somebody else would. So I think it's really important that if they're worried, mm. somebody should check it out. Now that was for, <coughs> excuse me, I'll that. That was for <laughs> pet owners. Um, and what about vets? I mean, yeah, are, so are vets are aware that there are so many specialised... I mean, I, you are one of uh, several uh, mm-hmm. specialist hospitals around the country, but uh, are vets aware of the kind of work you really, really do? No, I don't think they they are aware because a lot of them have graduated over many years um, and if they graduated kind of more than 10 years ago, they probably haven't Mm. been inside a specialist hospital or seen what sort of things that we do. And, you know, what we did 10 years ago is different Mm. to what we do now. Uh, We didn't have an MRI 10 years ago. Um, You know, we've upgraded our equipment in that time. So Mm. uh, it's constantly changing, improving. We're constantly adding services to what we we can do. And I think without um, maybe coming and visiting us or coming to one of our seminars or uh, you know, listening to talks like this, they wouldn't have known what, what we can do. And I think for a lot of vets, um, they are quite stunned. You know, we'll do a skin graft or we'll do a total hip replacement or we'll do something that they've never seen before. And it, I think if they knew that that was possible, they'd be referring more clients because they go, oh, we can fix that. You know, your dog's got a really bad ear canal disease. There's a surgery that they can, the specialist can do to fix that. But now, often they get treated you know, as a long-term chronic patient without giving them all the opportunities. So that's our role to educate our referring vets as well as the owners.